a spring on the island of Sodor. The ancients have been helping out with the spring preparations. There were the same amount of passengers and freight that had to be delivered to their destinations on time. It was a busy day for the engines, but it's good to help a friend. One day, Thomas and James were in the sheds, so Tom and Pat came to see them. Thomas and James, I have a special assignment for you. Ooh, a special for me and Thomas? What is it? Well, the two of you are to work with a special tank engine that had returned to help out on the island. There are a lot of stone cars that have to be taken to Brendan Docks. It is a very special and a very important job, too. So the three of you will have to be quick and efficient. Yes, sir, we won't let you down. Special tank engine? Who is that? I don't know, James. But we better get to the quarry and collect the stone cars. And so they did. At the quarry waited Scruffy, Hector, and the stone cars. Along with a friend from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Lady, the Golden Engine. Ever since the chase and the defeat of Diesel 10 from the viaduct, Lady had restored the Magic Railroad to its magical glory. But this year, she has come to the island of Sodor for a visit and here to help out. Thomas and James arrived at the quarry. Lady greeted them warmly. Hello, Thomas. It's wonderful to see you again. Lady? You're the special tank engine? Why am I not surprised? It's been a long time, lady. I'm glad to see you again, too. Do you know each other? You can say that. Thomas was the one who traveled the magic world and brought me to Sodor. I gave this conductor and senior junior the magic gold dust they needed. It's like you said. Helping each other brings to life the magic in all of us. Well, uh, what brings you here to Sodor? I'm here to help you and Thomas take the stone cars to Brendan Docks. It's a very special and important job. But Thomas has orders. Uh, hold that for Thomas, a moment. Back here. Why would such a cat want us to work with a tank engine like her? She's not strong enough to pull some of those stone cars. Well, she can at least pull one or two of them. We can easily take the rest of the cars. Why take some of the cars that we can take the river? In one whole entire journey. What? One whole entire journey? That's ridiculous. We can be as good as Nero or Murdoch. You, me, and that tank engine. We'll be quick and efficient just as the top man said. What do you say? I don't know. It's best we take separate cars in order. Taking separate cars will take forever. I say we take them all together. Hey, what's taking you two so long? Okay. Yes! Thomas and I talked it over and well, I was thinking we should take all the cars in one train. All the cars in one train? That's a bad idea, James. It's not gonna work. Yeah. It's best the three of you take separate cars. That's what I told James. He said Lady is not strong enough to pull some of the cars. Oh, James, I can easily take one or two cars. You and Thomas can take the rest. That's what I told James as well. I will make the decisions. We'll take all the cars in one train. So Thomas and James shunted Scruffy, Hector, and the stone cars into one long line. Then the engines were coupled together. James pulling the train, Thomas in the middle, and Lady at the front. Then they started slowly off. The 
three inches will soon coasting along the line. Thomas, James, and Lee stopped at a signal. Toby was in a siding. He was taking on water. Hello, Thomas, James, and Lee. Where are you three off to? To Brendan Docks. We have to take these stone cars there. James had us take too many of them. That's all cars for the three of you to take. To go day for you to, to take the train straight ahead. Brendan Ducks is a long way away. Well then, we'll take the track now from his friend, Mike. James didn't want the decisions to be made by Lady, especially in front of Toby. I'll make the decisions. We'll take the track over Gordon's Hill and across the bide. It's the quickest way. So when the signal changed, Thomas, James, and Lady started again. <laughs> They soon came to Gordon's Hill. When they hopped and hopped to the top, they started to pop down the other side of the hill. But the heavy weight of the train pushed them faster and faster. This isn't good! Whoa! Bust my bumpers! Whoa, boy! This is gonna be quite a ride! The heavy train pushed Thomas, James, and Lady on and on. Towards a junction lay ahead. One line went for the viaduct. The other line went to the woods. The engines fell through the junction and onto the wrong track. James thought they were racing toward the viaduct. But they weren't. They were racing into the woods. Thomas! James! The plane is going slow! We have to stop! Thomas and James applied their brakes, and so did Lady. They crashed through a thick wall of bushes and came to a stop. Bust my buffers! That was a weird ride. Lady looked around. Everything was very quiet. Oh no, where are we? Lost, apparently. Flaming funnels, we're in the woods. Jane, we were meant to take the track down Thomas's branch line, but we haven't. Now look what you got us into. Hey, I'm just getting on jump down as quickly as possible. No, you're not. Your decision was wrong. Now how are we going to get out of the woods? I don't know, but so top and hop will be crossed if we were late with the stone cars. Not too early, Thomas. We'll back up inch by inch until we're out of the woods, then we'll find out where we are. But James didn't want the decisions to be made by Lady. I will make the decisions. We'll keep moving forward about a few miles through the woods. So Thomas, James, and Lady continued on through the woods. The forest is a place for green trees, where the birds brush their wings in the air. The leaves rustle on the branches by white wind in the season of spring. The children are laughing as they're having fun, sliding down the slide by the funky bars, and swinging on the swings at the playground in the season of spring. Some children are on the Easter egg hunt looking for eggs. All the children are having a picnic with their parents. You can see a lot of things from the forest, more especially in the month of March. There's a month of laughter and happiness, all in the season of spring.
They were nearly a few miles when Lady began to know where they are. Clear sky, open spaces. We must be out of the woods. Hooray! What a relief. At least James' decision was right this time. If he makes one decision wrong the last time, we'll ignore him completely. Now we can make a break from the docks and finish the job, but we can. Time, lady. We should be almost there, Thomas. I think. Let's get it over with. Let's get it over with. The three engines were soon faced with a choice at a junction. One line went to Henry's tunnel. The other line led to Lower Ticket Station. Okay. What do you two think? Should we take the track through Henry's tunnel or ask the station master at Lord's at the station for directions? Well, I do want to ask the station master for directions. I'd rather take the track through the tunnel. It might be the fastest way to the docks. Oh? The fastest way? I made the last two decisions last time and they went wrong. I made one decision right and nothing happened. In fact, you'd be surprised I have more than that many decisions on me to make. You have more decisions? You wouldn't make us. I would. A friend wouldn't do that to me. A friend wouldn't make me do that either. Then I guess you're no help at all. Not anymore. Just act like you're any different. You always do what you do, what you want, and that's all that is too. Fine. 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 James, lady, not that hard. <laughs> The coupling between Thomas and James had broke. Thomas and Lady had left James with Scruffy, Hector, and the Stone Cars. Oh, good riddance. Oh, bother. Oh, the indignity. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Lady. What are you two doing here? We're here to ask the station master for directions to Brendan Dobbs. The three of us... The two of us have to take the stone cars we left back at the junction to there. The two of you? You said three. Isn't James with you and Lady? No, Henry, darling. We left that no help at all engine at the junction. He's no use to us. Thomas is with me now. We should wait for the station master to give us directions and head back to the junction for the stone coffers. Okay, then. If that's what you two will do, the station master won't be back until later on. Must get the stone cars to bring them on time. Oh, God. supposed to be helping you? Yes, yes I am. I don't know where they are. I don't care. And no, they are not helping me. Lady said I am no help at all, but she's just being the lady and being addressed as such. But 
the ship at the docks will be leaving soon. Do you need some help? No, Edward, no. I'm fine. I'm crossing with Lady now, and I have to be quick and efficient. I wouldn't be sure of that. You might burst your safety valve or break down or something. Rubbish. I'm strong enough to pull those cars myself. I'm messing up the railway. That's my line. Whatever. Meanwhile, at Bowerton Station, Thomas and Lady were still waiting when the station master came out. Hello, Thomas and Lady. What are you two doing here? We wanted to ask you for directions to Brendan Docks. How do I get to the Holy Road to there? It's just through the level crossing after this station, then down along Edwards Branch Line past Suttery. Through the level crossing after this station? Lady, you are right with this decision. What do you mean, Thomas? We asked the station master for directions. He told us where to go. Through the level crossing after this station, then down along Edwards Branch Line past Suttery. And we just left James back at the junction with Scruffy, Hector, and all of the stone cars. I think the coupling must have broken off when you and James were pulling against each other. I was still in between the two of you. What? You mean you still have James's coupling attached to yours? Yes. And James must be... <gasps> struggling to pull the cars on his own! James had not gone fast enough, but he began to feel sorry that he had decided to take the heavy stone cars to the docks, all on his own. It was hard work to get them moving, but Thomas and Lady were racing along the main line to catch up. James was nearly at the next junction when he began to run out of cough. <sighs> Come on, James. You can do it. But it was no use. James groaned to a halt. It's no use. I wish we'd taken the cars separately. I wish we'd taken the track down Thomas's branch line. I wish you could have backed out the woods. Well, that decision went right. And I wish we had asked the station master to go and tip the station for directions. Now I know Lady was trying to help me. I wish Thomas and Lady were here right now. James! James, thank goodness we found you. I thought Thomas and I would have left you, but get the junction all alone. Are you alright, James? Not alright enough to be quick and efficient. No. I was close with you, lady, for leaving me behind, so I decided to keep on going so I would be as good as Hero and Murdoch. But Edward came past and offered to help me, so I refused to have his help and carried on with triumph. Then even after I gave it up, I realized you were trying to help me and Thomas by being a really useful engine, so I wished I had listened to you in the first place. I'm so, so sorry, lady. Please, can you ever forgive me? James, darling, I forgive you, but we still have to get the stone cars to the dock before the ship leaves. Any chance we could do something about the stone cars? The three engines soon had the train in separate order. Now which way to Brenda? Why don't we ask our fair lady? <laughs> lady looked ahead. The track on the left went further down Gordon's express line. The other track on the right went past the Sonor Search and Rescue Center. The right track is the fastest route to Brendan Dobbs. We'll take the track past the Search and Rescue Center. Let's go! So Thomas, James, and Lady hurried with Scruffy, Hector, and the Stone Cars. All the way to Brendan Dobbs.
Here we are, sir. Sorry we took so long. I hope we didn't miss this ship. Where have the three of you been? This is the special assignment you three made all day. It's a long story, sir. You see, James had us take all the stone cars in one journey. He made some decisions wrong, and he and I were playing against each other when the problem between Thomas and James broke. After we asked the station master and Noah to the station for directions, I realized that we let James own the heavy stone cars all on his own. By the time we caught up with him, James was feeling sorry that he had been such a bossy engine. He promised he would listen to me and asked me to forgive him. Well, I'm not surprised. Pulling far too many cars, making wrong decisions, and leaving you, James, behind to handle the job on your own. Were you being involved as well, Thomas? No, sir, I wasn't. It was James' fault for the trouble he got us into. He was trying to be quick and efficient. I said, the three of you have to be quick and efficient. But you haven't. You, James, have caused confusion and delay. Tomorrow, James will work with Lady Green Stone from the quarry to the docks. And Stepney will take James's coaches. What about me, sir? Well, you can just go back to your branch line, Thomas. Oh, thank you, sir. Bad luck, James. The next morning, James went back to the quarry. Lady was already there. Our cars were loaded and ready to go. I'm sorry about yesterday, lady. I should have listened to you anyway. That's all right, James. We need the lamp from your place, that's all. So I guess you'll take at least one or two cars? Yes, yes I am. And you should take four or six cars. All right, of course. Lady was nearing at Brendam Docks. James came racing alongside. And this time, he was pulling only two cars. Uh, James, darling, you know you can't take more than that. Well, I don't think I can take six cars. To be honest, it's much better this way. I'll save this time the fast way. <gasps> oh, James! But James wasn't really saving time. He was just ending up being silly. <laughs> 